Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Train Man, and welcome back to TRS 2006, episode whatever this is. Uh, I actually did something while you were gone. I filled out this little area over here. Made it look a little bit better. And that's about it. So, today we're going to come over here. I'm going to work on this, because I'm not exactly sure what's going to go here. And I do actually have something to talk about in the meantime. Now, I've been playing a lot of War Thunder lately as you may or may not know, and it's gotten me, I wouldn't say fascinated with, more like fascinated with, again, uh, with, with warplanes, and with the zombie train giving us all sorts of strange uh, technology and old-timey stuff to stick with kind of the theme of how we work, I figured, let's not, or Sorry. Why not steal a plane? Now, of course, we don't really have much use for a plane. And, uh... When we're heading westward, obviously we don't have it. So this takes place after the pass. And it's a good thing, too, because I found one in Oregon. Not too far from Portland. Some, uh, museum I can't remember the name of, because the town... has a very strange name. Whoops. Let's fix this. But they have all sorts of stuff there, including a B-17. So I'm a little bit psyched to see that thing. But we're not going to steal the B-17. One of my favorite planes ever is there. And they have... Which is, rather, an SBD-3 Dauntless. Renowned for its range, its payload capacity, and the ability to take off from an aircraft carrier. Therefore, not requiring a very long runway. Ideal, right? Well, we need to have a reason to want this thing. First off, it's just going to be kind of a one-off thing. All right, here's my idea. And uh, I'm going to try and remember this, because I've got to tell Weibold all this later. Because he, he's in... He's in Portland. He ends up in Portland with us. Not ends up, like, by accident, but that's the plan, meet up in Portland. It'll be the second time we've met up, the first time since New Orleans, uh, the summer prior. Now, I can't spoil too much, uh, because a lot of it does tie in directly with what's going on in the zombie train. But once we get out of the pass... Sometime later, we realize we're being tailed by a very, very large group of bandits, like in the thousands, and they're chasing us down from the north, and they're working their way down the seaboard, because they don't know exactly where we went. Uh, they saw us sometime earlier, and I'm being purposefully vague, uh, they saw us sometime earlier, and then they decided to come after us because, well, we have something they need. Not only that, but they are kind of taking revenge. Or rather, we have something they want. That's a, well, well, depends on how you define need. Okay, I need to fix this. It's turning into a mess. This is why I hate doing stuff where I can't see the track that I'm using. Let's see if we can even this out on our own. Alright, now I can't tell most of this story, actually. Which is kind of a shame, but it involves the escape from Portland, basically. It's not really a, a hightail it out of there because they're on our doorstep, but it's like we need to move to the proverbial high ground. We need to get out of the way of what's coming. Because if we make it to this air museum, this airport, which is kind of in the middle of nowhere, if I remember correctly, it's, uh, they won't know where we went. Now, at the same time, we need to relay some stuff down the coast to San Francisco, or even lower, maybe Los Angeles. 
it's all a whole lot of military communiques from the north and the east of Portland. Not the northeast of the United States, but it's a whole lot of military communiques, as well as a ton of other data that needs to get to the command, which I originally wrote in was sitting in uh, San Francisco Bay, but I may have to change that just depending on how easily uh, accessible some of these things are. No, I think San Fran will work. Uh, but back to what I was saying. Now, we're not going to use the don't list to go deliver the information, although it would be kind of fun to. We can use the don't list as a message carrier, uh, but not those messages. These are much more high priority, and I can't... Basically, I can't entrust these messages to just two people. Uh, and I know the two people very well. I don't, I don't distrust them. But uh, having an unidentified aircraft flying in over the high command of the United States at this point would probably present a problem. However, driving a train to the doorstep won't. At this point, however, we are going to Portland for some repairs, so we won't have our engine. Uh, part of it, part of the entire situation is going to be dealing with the fact that Uh, we get there, and we have a short amount of time to get everything ready. I send the two the two people that are going to go secure the airport on their way. I keep calling it an airport. It's an air museum, but it is actually an airport as well, of course. They need to have a runway. Oh, where was I? I send them on their way. Uh, Weibold shows up at some point, uh, very soon after, actually. You know, that's something I'm sketchy on. That's something I need to work out. I was trying to work it out in my head, and it wasn't quite going anywhere. Because he's not supposed to arrive right after me. Uh, it, it becomes a problem. I don't want him to show up and there's nobody there. Or no, no, I get it. I know what we're going to do. We get there and we lollygag for a couple of days before we actually figure out these guys are following us. Someone comes down from Seattle and says, uh, you know, this this giant uh, group of people called blah 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 I can't tell you what it's called. Spoil. Uh, and they're moving down the coast, they're looking for the zombie train, and they're coming for you. It's like, uh-oh. If they're in Seattle, how long do we have? So, I send out this pair to go secure the airfield. Uh, we were able to communicate via radio with the high command in San Fran, but then a storm comes through and they lose a lot of their antennas. And they're trying to rebuild these things, but we all of a sudden have all this new information that came flooding down with this, this person in Seattle, uh, as well as the stuff about the bandits. And... So at this point, it becomes a race to get down the coast. Now, uh, 3254 isn't in pieces yet, but it's not in any shape to run keep holding shift, and I'm not supposed to be doing that right now. It's going to be in pieces. We've been taking, we've been uh, preparing it for repair. Repairing it for repair? Preparing it for repair. We were preparing it for repair, uh, however the engine shop doesn't have the room for it, so we're going to steam up 449 and move it out of the way. Uh, however, that's a proposition in and of itself. Whoops. And of course, Wybold's locomotive isn't exactly in the best of shape either. From everything he's been through to get up here. Or to, yeah, to get up there. To get to Portland. 
So, essentially we start, uh, this messenger shows up, and we start having to make these emergency preparations. Actually, why won't the messenger show up on the same day? There, make it easy like that. Simple. They show up on the same day, within a couple hours of each other. One coming from the south, one coming from the north. Uh, Wild World has a little bit of a brakes issue, but that's that's that. That gets resolved. And of course, that's partly why his engine is not in the best of condition. So now we both need repairs. His, much less than mine, he spent six months in Alamosa repairing the engine uh, only a few months ago. But, uh, again, now he's got, uh, how, do, how do I phrase this? How can I, how can I set the ball rolling again and continue on with my story? I've got, it's two people, alright, so, message comes in. Immediately it's, alright, we need to get all this info. we need to get out of here, A, and B, we need to get, uh, the, sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. Uh, we need to get all these military communiques down to San Francisco. Easier said than done. So, what has to be done is, the airfield has to be secured because that's a good, that's actually not a bad fallout uh, backup spot because they're an air museum and they are actually, they have the machinery that the machine shop does just about. They have just about the same stuff. Oh, that, we actually got quite a bit of work done. They have the machine shop stuff uh, and they have all the planes as well. Now we have to have we're going to try and move these things, uh, pretty much everything valuable in the machine shop out of Portland into this, uh, to this airfield. Which, of course, is way easier said than done. I need to think some more. I'm just going to keep working blankly and we'll start on something new next time. But what it comes down to, pretty quickly actually, is we need to get these military communiques going. I send out the two people to secure the airfield, and I tell them to report back when uh, everything's set. And the way they're going to report back is actually by flying the Dauntless overhead, because the radio gear there is trashed, and their radio gear isn't strong enough. It's been damaged. Uh, and salvaged, actually, to be put in the zombie train, because they haven't had to run on their own for a little while at this point. And we don't have time to restore their radio gear. Oops. I had a spline point in there. So they have to... First of all, they've never flown a plane before, but they're really quick learners. They learned how to drive a steam engine almost instantly. Uh, so they're, they'll, they figure it out. They don't crash anything. But we're amazed by that. Well, we don't get the chance to be amazed by that. My bold and I. Because they get down there and it actually Okay, no, 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 sorry. Let me let me go back a second. It's going to take them a decent amount of time to get over to the airfield, like a few days, uh, because of what they're driving. So, I send them out right when I get there, and so Weibull doesn't get to meet these, these people, even though he's heard all about them uh, over the radio. So they go out there, and but by the time they are able to fly overhead, uh, Weibull and I are long gone. Now what we're long gone doing is we have to deliver these military communiques down the coast, 
And the way to do that is to deconvert uh, 449 to coal firing, and that's done within actually a matter of hours. It's just scrambling to get this thing, uh, you know, scrambling to get this thing back to a fuel that we can take with us, because we already have tons of it. Literally. That's a not bad looking mountain. So I made a cutoff that could do that, but that wouldn't save too much time. Maybe I should create something that goes along here, or used to go along here, I don't know. Yeah, hold on. Let me save. So we go out, we steam up 449, and we hightail it down the coast. Something else, though, is there is actually a little bit of feud in terms of uh, whose train we take. And I insist that we take mine, and he insists that we take his, and it comes down to basically I just force him into using uh, the zombie train instead of beta rail. Oh. And it... Part of what I want to happen is for me to kind of look like the bad guy at part of it, and then to redeem myself later. Because this is, uh... I feel like this is going to be more of his story than mine. Yeah, there we go. That looks neat. Yeah, it's going to be more his story than mine, so I don't... I want uh, to have some character development over myself, uh, rather than, uh, I don't know, I don't know, whatever. So, we have to take off down the coast in 449, and we're running, we're really going. Uh, and in the meantime, they're packing up everything they can into the zone, into beta rail, rather, and trying to take it uh, to the airfield, because uh, shortly after we leave, the Dauntless flies overhead, and, I don't know, blue smoke or something, I guess? Uh, like the, uh, kind of trailing smoke. Yeah. I need to figure out what to do now. What are we going to do with this? Let's work over here. Ah. What way is this river going to go? We didn't mark it. Alright, let's mark this river. Alright, there we go. River marked. Okay. So, back to what I was talking about. Oh, why am I using the arrow gauge track? Now, they, so there's going to be two different stories going on here at the same time, and uh, there's going to be no engineers in one case, and there's going to be two engineers and the other, and Weibold and I are going to kind of butt heads on a lot of things about 449 and about the trip uh, and the, the task at hand. A oh, little more. Come on, you all set? That's good, that's better. This isn't, uh... Oh, oh, oh. That one. That's good.
No. Let's do that. Alright, well, as I was saying, we've got all this, we've got all this stuff that needs to be moved, and they don't have Weibold or I. Now, I'm not sure if Weibold has someone else that can man his engine. I'm sure he does. I never, I mean, I wrote in people that can, but I no, nobody else on the train actually wants to. I, I taught Emilio how to do it. Taught Ian how to do it. Yeah, I'm sure Evie's picking it up because she's a fast learner and she hangs out in the cab. But other than that, no, I don't have anyone. I don't. There's no other. Oh, I should mention this. When we're running down the coast with 449 and the zombie train in tow, without our main engine, uh, we have a mix of both zombie train and beta rail personnel. And that means beta rail has a mix of beta rail and zombie train personnel. Things get a little bit switched up, but in general everyone seems to get along decently, because we're all survivors here, we're all working towards a common goal, and they know what they're doing. And by they I mean the guys at uh at Portland know what they need to be doing, even though most of them don't want to leave their machine shops, but they understand the danger. Uh, and, and those that don't are convinced of it. I need to fix that. Manually. are convinced of the danger, and agree to, to pack up all the stuff they can and leave. Now I need to check more of the track layout at this uh, at this airfield, but it does have a decent amount of uh, spurs and stuff. I'm not sure if there's any place to turn the locomotive though. We may need to actually lay some of our own. Which the zombie train has done before. It's not uh, something too different. With the experience from the beginning of the Barrington Rail Revival project, most of the guys on the zombie train will... Oh, will, uh, be able to... alter... the, the track work to suit their needs, although we may need to do... uh, kind of sketchier looking switches, instead of your standard frog switches. So proceed at very low speed within the yard. Also, the... Now what I'm, what I'm trying to think of is what's going to pull the train uh, to the airfield. I'm wondering if it's going to be... Actually, hold on. This is going to be a huge train. Uh, they're going to want to take everything they possibly can, including the other two locomotives, so we're going to be towing these things. And I mean, I, I'm not against that, it's not a bad idea. But at this point, I would feel like it's a little bit overkill. However, I don't have jurisdiction over this at this point, because I'm somewhere down the coastline. So... What they end up doing, so they need two able-bodied engineers, because what they're going to do is double-head the thing. They're going to put uh, Weibold's engine in front, my engine behind his. And we're going to pull this massive train, or they're going to pull this massive train, from uh, from Portland to wherever this place is. Now I've got to tell Weibold of this stuff, so this is just kind of an audible record. Wish I knew exactly when in the video I could look to get all this. Uh, also, we're going to be... I, I will say we're going to be utilizing this stuff at the Air Museum once we get there. Uh, like, I wish we could use the B-17. That'd be sweet. We could land that at Quonset, actually. We could use the B-17. 
But not, uh, not while Donatio's there. Tying everything together. He'd be pissed. He'd think it's just another display of power on his front lawn. Which it would kind of be, but it's not what we mean by it. Well, we need to finish up this section of mountain. I'll do that next week, and just remember to leave, leave any feedback or suggestions in the comments. And I'll see you guys next week. Train man out. Oh, wait a minute. Let's save the map first. Before I hit escape and ruin everything. Uh oh, I made a session. Son of a gun. Train man out.